Living fully for Jesus is a spiritual battle that each of us face every day. Are you fully surrendered to God or do you offer partial surrender? Today's quote points us back to the truth of God's word and challenges us that we must live only for Jesus. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Hi friends, I'm Pastor Josh, and I'm so excited that you join me again today as we take another look at a quote that points us back to the Word of God. I'm passionate about helping you grow spiritually and that together we can develop the mind of Christ. It seems that so often in life, each of us have different spiritual battles that we face each day. But one of the main spiritual battles is, am I going to live fully surrendered to God or am I going to live for myself? Think about your last week. What areas of life did you struggle with the most? Was it because you were fully surrendered to God or was it because you wanted to do what you wanted to do? Our quote today comes from the truth that Francis Havergal learned as a child. Francis was the youngest of three children born to William Havergal. She was raised in a Christian home. In fact, her dad was a pastor and it was through his involvement in her life that she learned to love language. She studied both in England and in Germany and learned to love different languages. She spoke many modern languages, German, English, and a couple others, but she also spoke and learned to write and read Hebrew and Greek. This helped her to, in her study of the Bible. As she learned to love language, God used that in her life and through her life. She loved to write poetry, and not much of it was remembered, but there are a few that turned into songs that many today love and still sing. Because God was willing to use a young lady who was willing to live only for Jesus. Frances struggled with her health throughout life. In fact, she died at only 43 years old. And yet, throughout her adult life, the further she progressed in life, the more she was committed to living only for Jesus. She was a talented singer, but she loved using her gift, both of singing and also of writing poetry and other areas of Christian ministry. She loved giving that wholly to Jesus. It was at Airly House in February of 1874 that she wrote the song that we're quoting from today. It was after a night of her pointing others to Jesus, even some unsaved people who trusted Christ as Savior. She was so excited and passionate about how God had used her and she couldn't go to sleep. These words began to resonate in her mind. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. How was it that God could use Francis? It was because she was surrendered to live for God. Friend, if you and I are going to live for God this week and not be living by our own agenda, we must, number one, develop a right view of God. Romans 12, 1 talks about this. I beseech you by the mercies of God. Oh friend, do you know God's mercies? First, are you saved? Do you know that Christ died on the cross for your sins? You can't live holy for God if you don't know Christ as Savior. But friend, if you're saved, are you continuing to know and learn the character of God more and more? through his word each and every day, develop a right view of God, beseech you by the mercies of God that you present your bodies. It's a living sacrifice. You must know the one you're surrendering to. Oh, God wants to reveal himself through his word. Do you know him? Develop a right view of God, but then you need to develop a right view of your own self. First of your body, develop a right view of your body. It's as a living sacrifice, not just I'll live for God on Sundays. Or I'll live for God when I commit my act of service, whatever that might be. Friend, God wants you to live for Him each and every day. Develop that right view of your body. Give it a living sacrifice to God. It's holy, it's acceptable, it's your reasonable service because of all He's done for you in salvation. But then also develop a right view of your inner man. Not just your body, but your inner man. Who you are. It's God who has changed you. It's God who says it's your reasonable service. It's reasonable to live for God. It's logical because of all that he's done for you. Well, how do you do that? It's by renewing the mind. 
The word renew means to renovate. Are you renovating your mind through the word of God? Friend, that's how you and I will live holy for Jesus. As she wrote, oh, I want to live only for Jesus. Friend, it's because the word of God was flowing through her. And friend, that's how you and I can live surrendered, holy lives for God. Develop a right view of God. Develop a right view of your own body and your inner man so that God can use you this week. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Heavenly Father, we come before you. Lord, we thank you that you want to use us. Would you help us to live our lives surrendered wholly to you, not just today, but through the rest of this week. God, as we gather as a church family to worship, may our hearts and minds be yielded to you. But as we go our own ways this week, oh God, will you help us to worship you wholly and be surrendered to living only for you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friend, as you go through life this week, will you daily continue to develop that view of God that you should have and that view of yourself so that you will live wholly for God this week and that He will use you in a way that only He can. And you'll look back and say, wow, I'm so glad I yielded to God. If you're interested in other quotes taken from songs, would you click on the playlist right here? If you're interested in other quotes dealing with being fully surrendered to God, click this playlist. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time as we get together to develop the mind of Christ.